Generic greetings and welcome to Bulwark Falconry Chronicles. Today's beverage is a very nice peppermint tea. So welcome to Bulwark. This is essentially a city builder but has a lot of differences from a lot of its competitors. So you're going to be essentially building towers and connecting them up. And it's not about how many resources you transport but rather you have access to them because of distance you also have to uh, explore around with your airship and there is combat in it i don't know how much in this version of the demo but we shall see either way we're gonna check this thing out this is as i said the demo version the full game is at the time of recording release tbc but links will be in the description for obviously the store page and things like that so you can check it out more and um with that said, uh, about this demo, it is a demo, but it says like an evolving demo or something. So we've moved from demos to prologues to uh, evolving demo, which is, <laughs> as far as I can tell, it's just another way for prototype still in progress. <laughs> but this anyway, is the campaign mode. Campaign Here mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. All right. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce. Got yet? Ever expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. That's by Thomas Salah, the solo dev. So we have three scenarios. I'm guessing the latter two, yes, are locked for the demo. So we're going to play the first Word one. Of advice. Click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes, and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting. So don't be afraid and just go wild. That's a very, very positive thing to say and very encouraging as well look it's a game have fun there's no wrong answers play and experiment and you know it's been um very very much promoted in the beginning i like that i very much like that anyway scenario settings it says starting faction is free house the free houses value uh prosperity prosperity uh stability and growth they want to rebuild desiring only peace starting location is new haven uh, starting extractors is one of each so i believe it's woodstone and iron metal and we'll have the tutorial on because i think it's a a decent little run through anyway we'll begin this one and see what we have to do and there we go we've got the airship floating around at the top and this is our main starting structure this uh, spire here oh, you're finally here yes we've already built a few essential buildings Mm -hmm. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. That's Advisor Atlam. Thank you, Advisor While Atlam. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. Yes. First, connect this outpost to the wood mill. So, we have this building here, and it's important to note that it's not a case of scrolling around WSD style. You are focusing on either the building that you're currently in, or the airship which is floating around. We'll go on that uh, later. And the way it works is, we can may see a mouse, mouse around from this outpost here, and it shows us where we can build certain things. Now, at the moment, we can't really build anything other than a connection to the wood mill, and we want to do that because that supplies with wood, which allows us to build more stuff. There is a demo limit of 30 structures. Um, obviously, that's going to be um, not the case for the full version, one would imagine. But let's just connect the wood mill to the freehouse outpost, and Notice there we go. Our workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Yes, they are. Wherever you build, and our workers can we can all see it popping up as well. Settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. So all that is, I don't know about the proper term, dynamically placed. We have a almost a controlled chaos for the buildings that go around it. And I've played this demo for about an hour and a half and um, still seeing everything it has to offer and seeing the, the different ways that the game just decides to build things. Anyway, over to the wood mill. So we'll focus this on that. And we have the wood. Um, if we press tab, it shows us... I don't know if transport is the correct term. It says, uh, yeah, we have basically, supp we're supplying people to the wood mill and the wood mill is supplying wood back here, but it's all based on distance. So it doesn't really matter how much, it just it, whether you have supply or not really. Anyway, so we need to expand over to uh, extend, mm, build a basic tower. Okay, let's extend over here and we'll place a tower there. And there we go. There's a wood tower. Built a basic tower. Yes, I did. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Mm -hmm. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. So they build homes around that tower, which wood is good. You can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. 
Okay. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Excellent. So, build more towers. Let's build one on the right-hand side and click. Good work. Yeah. The wood mill is now delivering wood further than before. Good. So, so we now have the wood mill and we also want to connect up the quarry. So, the quarry is in there and it looks really nice with its stained glass windows. And we will go and connect that up there as well. Great job. Yes. Now we have access to the quarry, mm -hmm. our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Okay. So we can upgrade our towers. So on this tower here, which we have focused on again, it's all based on what you're focusing on. So whether it be that stone thing over there or this one here. To your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. That's true. So it's good to have a central hub. Anyway, we're going to upgrade this one in the middle to a stone tower. Create stone walkway. Are you all right? If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Which it has. I don't know what that affords us, upgrading it from wood to a stone one. But let's continue to upgrade our outpost. So we'll switch Select over to that. So we can start expanding upgrade. it further. Upgrade that. So we've got two towers, which are higher level. Let's go over to this. Outposts can be upgraded as well. And Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stone. second level. There it is. Ah, oh, quite nice. We can add foundations nice. to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, oh. increasing the worker output. So we can build foundations around here, like so. Of our outpost can be improved further. By connecting yeah. more towers and walkways to it. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So, we need to build more connecting towers. Let's build one down on the shore here. And I think that would be fine. Like that. All towers are like <laughs> foundations. Okay. Wood, stone, and later, <laughs> command towers. Command so, towers also one of the quirks of having um, this dynamically generated scenery is that you get stuff like that massive stone archway and then like a, a lift system that goes down to that let me upgrade this <laughs> all right so uh, it says experiment with foundations i'm going to go over here and we're going to experiment with foundations so there's some, some foundations select your outpost there's so a foundation expanding it further. oh we need to ex uh, extend the outpost over here and we're going to go foundations Oh, look at that. That looks really good down there. Also, notice how varied the color color is. It shifted from like a dark blue, almost like turquoise as well, to this orange. In fact, it's basically Blade Runner 2049 color scheme. <laughs> Let's build some foundations there as well. And um, we're going to also now go into the air mode. So pressing space, we get access to our little airship here. allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It yes, it will does. It also help to get you out of trouble, which is <laughs> never far on the earth sea. So we can have a scout around, and we want to scout around for iron. Now, I know from experience that there is iron over here. So we're going to send this guy over, and... They're going to so get close. Build a mine on yeah. Spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. All right, mine let's build a mine. Most oh, I like this. When you place that, the mine, then all of the yeah, land around it, then yeah, it all gets altered, so you can see it's like a like a deep water. pit mine now. Let us build a nice. trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. So, as advisor Atlan has indeed advised, uh, we have nothing working here because there's no workers over here. And also, if there was, well, the stone ain't, uh, the, sorry, the iron ain't going anywhere. So, what we're doing is we're mousing around near the sea and we're going to place down a harbour. What's important to know is that you have to build it in the, you can't build it in the shallows. And secondly, we've got this flashing in orange slash yellow uh, where we've got our mine if we go further out that means oh look you're too far you can't connect it so this will automatically connect it to that location so we'll do that and there it is several captains are now available yes they are each captain holds specific resources yes they do for this trade route iron is required mm -hmm. but wood is also recommended to expand the mine so we want to send someone over. This guy will carry iron and workers. We'll assign that captain. 
That guy will carry stone and workers. And that will carry wooden workers. You know what I'm going to do? You can have everybody assigned to it. I might as well. There we are. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. Yes, they do. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Mm -hmm. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. So we want to connect this up to something, and I'm guessing that's that's one of the more central points. So I'm going to build this. Firstly, we've got the blue line going to the other harbour, and secondly, we've got the connection point shown on there as well. So if we place that in there, we'll connect up. But if I build it closer in, it means we might potentially have more um, more connection options. Select and there we go. That's now built. So we can start expanding it further. We need to select the outpost, which we now have done so. With iron. We can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. Ooh, now Perhaps that looks impressive. Doing so, we need to <laughs> upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. Well, that's been done. Excellent. We have a citadel. And obviously it's going to then alter all of the buildings around it. Good. And, oh, it you might be see on the left-hand side, all of the, uh, disposal. all of the on building command. resources being sent over. These can be built with multiple floors as yep. well as additional foundations and balconies. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, there's all the trade from the port. <laughs> can we upgrade that to something a bit better? I guess we can. Upgrade that to iron. And upgrade that. Upgrade that. I don't know if that's actually upgrading that. There. Or not. Definitely upgrade this to iron. And then you can see we've got this big tower. What we're going to do is build it up. There is no iron available for this upgrade. What? There's no iron available for the upgrade. Well, if we do that. Oh, what? That's so good. So I'm going to, if we press tab. With all major resources now at our disposal. Yeah. Let's focus on building command towers. Let's go for a These command can tower. Be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. So we build towers up. Mighty and command up. towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. And up. Their height only being dependent on the level of access to workers. <laughs> Build this tower as high as possible. Well, we've done that now. So that's as high as we can go. Balconies are built from high floors. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become. So the, the bigger the tower, the better is what they're telling us. So we need to build... Also, now that we've got this, we need to build foundations. You can see we can go up. And we can build balconies, and we can build foundations. So I'm going to build some foundations there, and there, and indeed there. So there's some foundations, but we're going to go up for a balcony, balcony, and this is really impressive what we've built here. Although, I guess credit to the game, really, because it's the one that's um, <laughs> building this. Can we build right out there? Oh, we can. Can we build any further? Can we build any further? We can't. N no, we can't build there. There's a balcony. Build three balconies on the command tower. I thought we'd built the balconies. Can we not go up from there? One there. One there. I'm on there. Command tower Excellent. Stout. Command tower. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. So, we're going to assign a commander to it now. And there's said commander. And I think that changes the look of it as well. Wow. Yes, it does. And again, that's completely different from the last time I played. Oh, actually, no. The top's the same, but the actual... New ooh, forces are ready nearby. The, uh... Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. Yeah, the actual layout this is different on the on the main tower. Now stand watch over our settlement. Yes, indeed. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. So a surveyor, the main guy, in the, the airship here, our if that gets to combat, we can fly over we here. Have access help out. to resources, a citadel, and command towers. Mm. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. So, These it's all about exploring. Times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But right. be wary of who you invite in. Mm -hmm. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Of course. So, we can see if we press tab. All up to you. Head out if the guy's finished. The <laughs> Rebuild our society. Yes, indeed. 
Mm -hmm. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. Thank you. So, we now have our settlement, and I do think it's a fairly decent settlement at that. We need some more supply of workers, and maybe some iron as well, but it's basically up and running. Um, we can also see, when we're in here, this settlement, we can see the factions. So at the moment, it's it's only Freehouse. We've also got Freebooter, Imperium, uh, Mansa, and Pirate. I'm going to go over here and see if this requires any upgrades but we are going to have a little scout about and we have the buildings north on the horizon oh buildings on the horizon uh can we upgrade this yes we can although it didn't really do much <laughs> anyway we have north pointer there we have also the indication for where our main tower is and then also a question mark which is ah there's definitely a building over there, or there's something over there. Should we have a look? Um, we can press M as well to look at the map. The world map shows our holdings, mm -hmm. which we can fast travel to. Okay. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Good. So obviously in the demo it's more limited, but you've also got, I guess in the full version, all of the... I mean, this is a huge area that eventually you'll be able to expand to, and that's called the Moor, and there's the Shard over there. As well. Anyway, back to here, and we're going to head over to whatever this is. Uh, the fun will be in finding out what it is, and it looks pretty good, whatever. So, this is the Dunkelbound Sea Tree Company by the Imperium. It says, We simply produce wood from the sea trees for the Imperium High Lords far away. We mean no threat and have no defences. You can see you've got like negotiations and invite settlement to join. They're not going to do any of that. They are a little bit intimidated and they are not aligned in the slightest. And if we wanted to, we can have well declare war we're not going to do that uh, we're going to head off i'm seeing something else over here and this looks quite interesting what is that what is that and i'm not too sure what it is so i'm going to head over to this location and yeah we'll have a a little chat with them so this is uh lightkeeper julius this is gain a guild facility uh, it says, demolish to salvage the unique building. Guild surveys will supplement data on local resources within uh, within your charts. They're very useful. Uh, stock the charts and surveys from several centuries gone. It's a waste letting this facility rot. I'm going to accept that. And I guess what we need to do is go over here then. And we sadly need to demolish it. So we'll demolish that. We'll demolish that. Demolish that. And there we go. We're back onto our surveyor. So, I'm going to head over here. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? No, I'm going to head back. Maybe. There's some more sea trees there, but we've only got one mine. Um, I'm actually going to head towards this because there's a there's a boat here, and that's the actually armed. Our waters. Yeah. It's marked on the map. So, this is uh, oh, Captain for Hire. They are free house or i think it's the same as our faction gain a fighting vessel it says cutter and improves freehold alignment my ship and kin have served dunkel for generations dunkel is no more i was hoping to save your new settlement and find honor protecting your trade routes you have accept officer. they command mm. a mighty warship yes they do your trade routes so i don't know if i have to this way it's a bit unsure. Do I have to tell them to do anything? I don't think so. I think they're just going to do their own thing. Unless I need to assign them. What I'm going to do is um, head here. I think we can build a specialised building. I want to build... Well, for a start, I want to go over to... I want to go over to there. Alright. And I want to build a tower here. And upgrade it. And upgrade it again. And we want to then upgrade that route. And then, from this guy, we want to place our guild house in there. And see what that looks like. Oh, there it is. Oh, that looks... that That's really impressive. <laughs> that looks really good. Can we connect it? We can as well. And there's our special building. So... Again, I'm guessing in the full version, you'll be able to find loads of different special buildings, increasing the size of your um, your villages and your overall empire. So yeah, good. 
good. There's another something over this location. Wow, wow, it's, everything's turned to like a, a really warm orange. Yeah. Ah, what's this? This is place has been ah this place has seen better days, so we're scrapping it. Feel free to take ownership of the lighthouse, maybe even dismantle it and move it somewhere else. Yes. Okay. So we're <laughs> we're basically salvages here, and I guess we'll rip that down, rip all of this down, and we're back on this. And there is another question mark over here, so we'll we'll head back. So. I guess this is going to be another lighthouse. Shall I see what that's like? Place it elsewhere. There's some more sea tree stuff there, but we can't we can't get that because we've only got one um, one gatherer. So were we able to place this special building? Mm, we could. We could indeed place our special building. And I'm going to place it near the near these rocks because it's a bit yeah, it's a bit hazardous around here. So. There it goes. And there's the new building. A lovely lighthouse, which we'll then, once again, um, connect up. Can we connect it up to there? We can't. So instead, we'll make an intermediary tower. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Now there is. And get that connected up. And I guess we want to connect up to that one as well. I guess... Can we get, if I place that there, will it connect up to that one? It will. There's the connections. So one, and then two. And then build up those. And if we want to, we can just build these up here as well to make one of them massive, like, doom fortresses, essentially. <laughs> okay, let's go for uh, foundations, uh, foundations, foundations. Go right to the top to build that. And that? You have no available commanders on no, your No, no available commanders. commanders. And their valuable retinue can be found across the Ursi. Fair enough. We've got someone else over here as well. And this is Captain for Hire. Gain transport vessel, workers, wood, stone, and iron. Everything. You have enrolled a train ship captain. Yeah. They can be assigned to transport goods. So we've got a transport captain now as well. But I mean, this new settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Oh, have there? Perhaps we can take these people in. A refugee settlement. Let's have a look. What this is? Oh, well, we know what it is. It's just all of what it is. Hmm. But what will this afford us? So we can have a chat, and it says uh, the hard times thus bring the need for unnecessary alliances. My group and I have been on the run for so long. We seek refuge and will submit to your service. So if we accept, we get fresh combat forces, outpost to salvage and relocate, and improves pirate alignment if placed. Okay, so we'll we'll accept that. So I guess we drop down to this, and then are we just going to... Oh, yeah, we just demolish it. So that's... It is... Basically, it's demolished. We could have left it there. We definitely could have left it there, I believe. But... Uh, you can see now we've also got something that uh, another airship that's joined us for the time being. And if we were to head back over to to here, I guess we could place it here if we really wanted to. Let's just see what it looks like. Excellent. We have an outpost there it is. that provides workers. <laughs> Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. Yeah. This influence is the balance of power for your settlement. So this outpost is... That is free house it's not connected to anything oh uh, sorry no it's a pirate outpost so overall on the top right it says uh free house but this is a pirate this is in pirate so if we connect it up to here then potentially we could get um some sort of mixed relations there and um whatnot and it will affect what we do either way i think we are going to leave it there that's been a bit of Bulwark. So overall, it's it's hard to. Refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Oh yes. Perhaps we can take these people in. Yeah. So overall, it's it's hard to give any sort of um, comment really on the game at this stage. It is an evolving demo. Things are getting added and uh, improved and such. And uh, but yeah, the actual mechanics seems to be fairly solid and different to what I've seen previously. So that's a that is certainly a draw. I do like the aesthetic. I like the the, the introduction of hey, just it's it's chill. Just just build what you like, and you'll you'll get on with it fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I like that. I like the um, the 
the approach of, you know, experiment, try things, see how you get on. Um, and the world itself seems to be quite interesting. How it comes to interacting with the factions, combat, that sort of thing, I obviously can't really say. But um, put it this way, I'm interested in finding out. Either way, that's been a bit of the demo. If you like what you see, by all means, check the link out in the description. The demo is still available as of the time of recording. So, yes, if you want to give it your, uh, try it yourself, then you should be able to. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, then by all means, leave them in the comments there. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.